Hey guys, I just wanted to take a moment to share with you a weird issue I was having with my 3D printer and hopefully this will help somebody out there. Take a careful look at this print. You notice that this is the first layer. You notice here, everything looks fine. Let me put it down so you guys can get a better look at it and we'll zoom in. Let's see if this works. So look on the left. You notice how that first layer is kind of a different color, a different sheen. Here it's nice and smooth. There it's like, I don't know, it's actually really bad. If you look at it, it's not even flat. Well, that had a pretty, I know what the cause is. It took me a long time to figure it out, but uh, the cause was pretty simple and correcting it was pretty simple. And I, I wanna share this with you. So that's one manifestation of the problem. Another manifestation is just bed adhesion issues. Even with the BL Touch installed, the bed leveling system, parts wouldn't stick. I'd come back and I'd find a jumbled mess. Um, but again, it's pretty easy to fix, and I'm gonna hopefully share that with you guys right now. So I've already corrected the problem, so unfortunately you can't watch me fix it, but hopefully the little video will give you some insight as to how I did it. So my printer's printing right now, as you can see, and everything's a lot better now. We zoom in on this part. Hopefully you can tell that things are looking much better. Um, so the fix, so enough with the yakking. The problem is that this bar right here, right? That gets the x-axis bar, was not perfectly parallel to the bed. So this side over here was about two millimeters higher than that side over here on the left side, the other side. And I don't know what's causing it. I don't know if it was just some kind of weird manufacturing inconsistency with the printer. Sorry about that strobing effect. It's the LEDs in there, but anyway. Um, I do have that second uh, z-axis screw on the right side, and I have one over here, one over here. I don't know if there's some kind of manufacturing difference between those, or I'm not really sure. Again, not sure what's causing it, but the solution is thankfully very simple. What I did is I took my, uh, my, uh, my calipers, measured the distance at all four corners of the bed between corner one and this rail, corner two and this rail, corner three up here and this rail, and the back corners, all four corners, and you want those to be equal. So don't follow your normal bed leveling routine where you're going to take a piece of paper and whatnot and just you're going to you're, if, if that if the clearance between that bar and the bed is not equal on both sides they're not perfectly parallel you're going to be leveling your bed uh, and transferring that that over to um how do i want to say this oh, i'm tongue tied you know what i'm saying so again, what you wanna do is forget about the normal bed leveling procedure. I think this only applies to the BL Touch. Use your caliper and make sure that this bed and that bar are parallel. Now I've got things dialed into where they're about, the, the, the difference at all four corners is probably within a tenth of a millimeter and things seem to be running a lot better now. Now another way you might be able to compensate for this, if you don't wanna go through that or don't have to worry about that, obviously uh, you can't really always adjust this stuff out. You know, and There's some adjustment here, some adjustment there, but it wasn't enough in this case. You could also go into Marlin, and instead of doing a three by three grid, where Mar Marlin will take a BL touch measurement there, 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 you know, a three by three pattern, you might be able to do like say a four by four or a five by five, just take more samples. Because what I noticed is on a three by three pattern, when I had parts right about here, maybe a third of the way over the bed, that's where this problem occurred. So I think Marlin creates some kind of, you know, height gradient, and you can see where that height gradient is fine on the right, but on the left, it's all wonky. So again, it's kind of a short video. I just want to, hopefully this, this will help somebody out there that has a printer similar to mine. Again, this might just be a problem with a second Z-axis screw, not really sure. Um, but again, it was a problem nonetheless. It was driving me absolutely up the wall. So again, take your caliper, measure the different distance between the top of this bar and the bed at all four corners of the bed, and just adjust your bed height with the screws in the bottom until they are equal. I would say within a tenth or a millimeter or a quarter of a millimeter. That seems to be working just fine. I'm having no more issues. Anyway, hope this helps somebody out there. If you like this video, please subscribe. Stay safe. And thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. Really appreciate all your support.